Hey everyone, this is James, aka TV Dinner from the Watch Freaks Forum. This is the video review of the Red Sea Holly Stone model. This accompanies the written and pictorial review currently on the Watch Freaks Forum in the Watch Review section. Getting started, we'll start with the packaging like always. This watch comes in a cardboard box with the Red Sea logo on it. Inside the box you find a really nice leather travel case. One of the things you're seeing more of these smaller companies is doing these uh, nice travel cases branded on both sides with the company logo and the model name. And inside is a really nice looking two watch holder travel case. So this is something that you can use uh, you know, pretty regularly when you're traveling or with, you know, any watch in your collection, and especially this watch here. So a nice uh, case that comes with it. Also inside is all of your cards, your warranty card showing your limited edition and some additional paperwork from the company about the model. And straps, straps, and more straps. Um, all models come with a black NATO strap and a really nice black rubber strap. Um, soft soft rubber with a, in my case, because I have the black PVD coated one. Let's see if we can get this. We have a branded buckle on the leather one. I believe you can see it right there. With the Red Sea name on it. So it's a nice extra touch consistency. And people that pre-ordered got an additional NATO strap. So it's really nice to get on top of the bracelet model that you're buying all these additional strap options that come as part of the package, which is, is really great. Getting into the watch, this is the Red Sea Hollystone model, black PVD. And as you can see, this is, this, this is uh, one of the things I noticed right away is how extremely black the color is on this. Um, it is evenly applied throughout this entire watch, bracelet, case, bezel. They did a really good job and clearly took time making sure this was very evenly applied. Um, I've seen watches in the past that are, are not even close to this, this the, the coating this well applied. Going through the watch briefly on the crown side, you've got a branded crown at the 4 o'clock position. I'll try to get a picture of that right there. It's a six millimeter crown. Again, it's at the four o'clock position, which uh, you know typically you'll see it at the three. So at the four, it's a nice, uh, nice location to be. Um, on this side, you can see the holes for the lugs, which you'll see on both sides. And going to the non-crown side again, very smooth, even application. And of course, again, your holes for the lugs. Um, this watch, uh, one of the things you notice right away is it, 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 it's got some good size, but it's not so massively tall as some of the other ones. It's 14 millimeters tall, 44 millimeters in size, 22 millimeter lugs, and of course a 22 millimeter non-tapering bracelet, which is nice, about four millimeter thick links. It's a five link bracelet, as you can see. The movement in this watch is a Miota 9015, which of course has the 28,800 uh, BPH and uh, water resistance of 300 meters. And the flat crystal is an AR undercoated sapphire crystal. And the loom on this watch has all been applied by Loom Tech on the hands, the bezel, and the markers. Screw down crown, as you can see here and normal pull it out and of course adjust very smooth movement no grading no uh, issues or anything like that and to show you the very nice firm clicking and changing of the date exactly at 12 o'clock date window being at the three the date window has a black background with white font to match the rest of the watch and then, of course, screw down crown. 
and your movement starts again. The 9015 is extremely smooth. Uh, from my informal testing, it's been within a couple seconds each day of, of being accurate, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, the movement um, so far in the few watches that I've had with this movement in have been extremely, um, extremely accurate. The, the Holly Stone has a 60 click bezel. Okay, it's a nice firm 60 click bezel. Very little play backwards, which is nice. And it, you can see I have to exert some force here to get this around. And it locks into place right there, perfectly at the 12. Um, what I like about the bezel, it's very flat, very straight. It's not sloped like some of the recent bezels we've done. Deep grooved and extremely straight, flat side. Hopefully you can see it there. I'll try to give you a little better light here. <coughs> Deep grooves all the way around, which is nice. The bezel is 2.6 millimeter thick sapphire. And the dial opening here measures about 33 millimeters. So you've got 44 millimeters across, 33 millimeter opening, which is, is a nice opening to see, especially with this. One of the things you'll notice here is that how easy it is to read. Again, the white on the black dial is extremely, extremely clear. Uh, red C is known for their red on their hands. Um, the other model that they currently have out, the six pounder, has both a red hour and minute hands with round cannonball cutouts and this one has a red uh, minute hand with loom applied to both hands. Uh, there was a reported problem with the minute hand on this model with some loom issues. Uh, this has been fixed as you can see and it is even consistent. So the Red Sea Company will happily uh, take your watch back if you have one that has an issue and replace the hands at no additional cost to the buyer, which is great. Um, one of the things you notice immediately off the bat is the large areas of loom that have been applied, again, both to the bezel and the dial. Uh, this watch has tremendous loom. It lasted many, many hours. Um, even six, seven hours later, I had uh, uh, still some faint loom showing, which uh, I, you know, I appreciate the fact that they are going to promote that they've got that kind of loom tech application that it lasts as long as you would expect it to. Um, the case back again the logo with the numbered model limited edition model. Uh, all of Red Sea's watches are limited edition runs of 75 which makes it a nice exclusive uh, watch to have. The bracelet is a solid end link bracelet five links very tight to the case which is something I like there's no loose or clicking sound um, comes to the clasp on the clasp there's there's some good and there's some 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 not as good it's it's a nice clasp it's got some style to it the curvature it's got the logo on it but it doesn't have a diver's extension, and for a diver's watch, that's something you normally would like to see. And it also only has two micro-adjustments. So the two micro-adjustments is, is something I, I typically like to see at least four. Only having two and not having the micro-adjustment would probably be something you'd want to see um, changed in the future. Other than that, the thickness of the clasp is pretty standard. Snap down, and of course, lock. Again, I did find the bracelet to be very nice, great even application. You can see the links. Let's try to get you a view of that. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is again, this is is just it's the black coating is so dark and so well done that sometimes the light makes us look like solid. Continuing to look at this watch. Um, one of the things that I liked was how it sits on your wrist. Um, definitely has a, a nice, evenly weighted presence. Um, I'll put this on the wrist, you can see. Uh, it didn't feel 
weighted incorrectly, and especially on the bracelet, you really have a nice.